great. I mean, I would say that in terms of infrastructure, logistics, uh, you know, the architectural layout, uh, the scheme of colors used, I mean, it's just impeccable. Uh, you guys beat, beat us hollow at Harvard. <laughs> we don't have, uh, we are, uh, you know, housed in a very old building structure which dates back to uh, 1638. <laughs> so <laughs> we are still uh, working with uh, old style blackboards and chalks and so on. And you've got state of the art, uh, I think, equipment in the classroom. So my congratulations to you. I think it was uh, it was a very revealing experience, uh, resounding experience. Uh, I think your faculty was very forthright and, and 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 very frank in expressing their opinions of some of the issues that they're facing in the classroom. These are uh, common problems that all of us face. Uh, you know, trying to get attention to students is a major challenge for. Uh, all of us back at Harvard, and I'm sure it's the same story with Dia Munjal. And uh, I think uh, the discourse that we had today and some of the issues that I brought to light, uh, you know, I think they may be very helpful in tackling the challenges uh, that uh, the instructors are facing at your school and, and at our school. Uh, we, uh, I have in fact, uh, to a great degree been able to enhance and improve the attention span of my students by following some of the suggestions that I made today in the classroom and I'm sure the material that I distributed will be helpful too. Uh, I think the whole, ch the, whole uh, the, the secret sauce really is to keep them busy, uh, to do some cold calling uh, and to basically Make sure that they are they are put on an alert every 15 minutes cycles, so that they don't go to sleep. So, so that's why I open up my classroom, you know, with these financial articles, and then I bombard them, you know, with lecture slides, followed by case study discussion, and then followed by a quiz, and and then. And, and to complement all this, I think the guest speaker piece plays a very important role and I think they should do that. They should try and get some guest speakers into their classrooms as well. That will uh, enhance class participation to a considerable degree. Uh, I think uh, all, all these things will go a long way in, in meeting this uh, very unique situation that we are facing as a, as a result of the advent of my, you know, cell phones and so forth. So on, you know, uh, around the world, this is a very common problem. I think the students were very involved. I think they enjoyed the session. Uh, they were very participative. We we discussed, uh, you know, the out of box theme. I uh, launched the session by introducing six disruptors. Uh, you know, basically people of the caliber of Elon Musk. And, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and so on and so forth. And I walked through the resumes of each one of those guys. And, uh, and, and we also uh, you know, took account of the characteristics that were, uh, that were displayed on the, on, 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 the, on the screen. You know, like uh, how, did, uh, uh, how did the Microsoft guy make it and how did, you know, uh, uh, the guy at Amazon made it, and, and how how did uh, the Facebook guy made it? So, so we sort of you know went through the nitty gritty of each of the personality attributes of these six disruptors, and then I introduced the slides on on uh, 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 on out of box, and uh, basically we propounded the theme that to to become a successful out of box thinker. You have to come out of your box. You have to. You don't have to be risk averse. You you have to basically, you know, uh, not shy away from failures and so on and so forth. Uh, and then I also introduced the concept of how in the U.S. Uh, startups can 
fail one, once, twice, three times, four times, you can wear them as a badge of honor. You don't have to feel embarrassed. And, and so, so they love these stories. And, and, and then uh, they had a few questions that they asked. Uh, they, they were also uh, very keen to figure out how to get into Harvard. Uh, what does it take to be uh, a successful applicant? And I walked them through the checklist of the kind of things that they should be doing. So uh, it was a very involved session. I think I enjoyed it thoroughly. Sure, absolutely.